Speaking of electricity, you're headed for the age of invention. Menlo Park, New Jersey in the 1870s. There should be a buzz about the electric light bulb by now, but I hear someone's blown a few fuse. Let us see if you can illuminate the problem. And you better take Ivan Idea as your good guide. He's great at inventing ways to take on trouble. Good luck, Inspector. And don't forget to turn out the lights when you leave. Whoa! Epic time traveling! We've touched down in Menlo Park, New Jersey. The year is 1879, and that invention expert by my side is none other than Thomas Alva Edison. Hey, this is no time for chatting. I must recreate the world's first light bulb before the night is over. Go figure! I thought Edison had a working bulb. What's holding him up? Witness my new alkaline battery. It uses liquid chemicals that store much more electricity than an old-fashioned battery. Edison's alkaline battery is still going strong in the 20th century. It powers flashlights, radios, even the time cuffs. This duplex allows you to send and receive a telegram simultaneously over the same wire. I smell some profit in the air. The phonograph was Edison's first claim to fame and his all-time favorite invention. Phonograph, which records and plays back human voices. Skeptics think it's just a magic trick, but it's for real. Good day, uh, and forgive the disarray. My light bulb project is looking dim. Thomas Edison is my name. I'm an inventor of clever new technologies. Perhaps you've heard of the electric light, the phonograph, the duplex telegraph, or the motion picture camera? I had a hand in all of these. Everything. I have over 1,000 patents, many developed here at my Menlo Park Research Lab. I'm trying to recreate the filament recently stolen from my first electric light bulb. I have a meeting with some important investors in the morning, and the bulb must be burning by then. It's slow, hard labor, full of reversals, but uh, I don't mind. I like to say, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Well, I had just perfected my light bulb using a new carbonized cotton filament, and it worked. But a scamp, disguised as a scientist, made off with the bulb. Now I must build another bulb before dawn. Certainly. I'll un I could remake the bulb easily, except I need more cotton thread for the filament. The factory across the street has thread, but they're closed at this late hour. More cotton thread would be capital, if you can get any from the closed factory. Someone really needs to invent a more convenient store, open 24 hours a day. Wow! Edison really does think ahead of his time. Here's my rogues gallery of bulbs with filaments that didn't work. I tried over 10,000 of those filaments before finding the right one. It must be a drag to have failed 10,000 times. I wouldn't say I've failed. I've simply found 10,000 ways that didn't work. It's a Carmen note! Righteous! Who's knocking? I can't see a thing out there. What are you, a detective or something? I'm just a late night guard working the graveyard shift. Well, what do you expect? How would you like staying up all night gardening a lousy pile of cotton? Hey, I don't know. I'm just the guard. I'll have to call the big boss and ask him. And he won't like it. Hold on. Hello, this is Joe. What? They want to borrow thread? It's the middle of the night! Listen close, guard. Do not give those rascals a spool of thread. Tell them to come back in the morning when we're open. Here's the scoop. The big boss says you louses should come back tomorrow, during normal business hours. Now scram! Oh, sure. I bet you just love staying up all night guarding cotton. <sighs> but it's 11.
long enough, I'm telling you, life is a lot of hard work in this industrial age. Maybe I'll join one of these newfangled unions. That horse-drawn carriage may be romantic, but it will soon be outdated by Henry Ford's new Model T, the first mass-produced car. Those are gas street lamps. It will be a few more years before American cities start lighting up with electric street lamps. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a word for our phonograph? Here's a good story. There once was an overworked factory guard who kept getting annoyed by nitwits late at night. Eventually, the poor guard went crazy, turned into a werewolf, and ate the nitwits. The end. <laughs> I just love happy endings. Hey, Joe. Want to hear something really neat? To play the phonograph, move the needle to a groove on the metal cylinder and crank the handle. A part of the recorded sound will play. Eventually the poor guard went crazy, turned into a werewolf, and ate the netwits. Is that you, guard? What are you doing, deserting your post? Get back to the factory! Ah, yet another faulty filament. Reverses are an incentive to great accomplishment. It's cool you're so mellow about a setback. Try, try again. Mr. Edison, listen up. Here's what we recorded. Eventually the poor guard went crazy, turned into a werewolf, and ate the netwits. Now there's someone I wouldn't want to meet in a dark alley. Look at that. We've replaced the recorded cylinder with a new blank one. Mr. Edison, how about recording a few pithy statements for posterity? I'd love to. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go.